Hello everyone, my name is Bradley G. Lewis. I'm a first year freshman at FAU studying health science. My name is Nina Hinton. I am a sophomore uh, majoring in business management. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Jimenez Quintero and I'm a sophomore majoring in management information system. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Hirsch. I'm a sophomore at Florida Atlantic University and I'm majoring in multimedia studies. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Henry. I'm a freshman attending Fort Atlantic University studying computer engineering. One of the formal elements that Picasso incorporates into his artwork is shape. Picasso utilizes various geometric shapes for the eyes, nose, and mouth to make the woman's face abstract. This can indicate how many sides a person can have and their unique features. He used lines on Tete, this painting, to make multiple faces into one face. And although this face is not accurately shaped, the location of the lines makes it recognizable. The abstract nature is evident from the second your eyes lay rest on it. What stood out to me exceptionally was the use of value in this piece, as there is a wide array of blue used. The lowest value of blue is on the left, with dance transitions above the woman's head to a lighter shade of blue. There is a vertical barrier on the left side of this piece, which separates the various shades of values of this painting. The painting is congruent as congruent as Picasso can be, but the colors and values change drastically at that barrier. The blue of the background becomes lighter and higher in value as it crosses the barrier and turns into the same blue that's on her left side of her face. The blue is also the same value as the blue that's on her right forehead, but the two shades between them make them look slightly different. The pure white on the left side of her face has a higher value than the tan to the right of it which also compresses her neck and left shoulder. Her hair is slightly higher in value to the left of this proportion, as well as the light blue as opposed to a heavy and dark charcoal color on the right side. The painting is carved and separated by lines of black, which is obviously the darkest and lowest value of shade can be. On the left and right side of her face, as well as her right shoulder and torso, there is a dark red which has a muddy quality to it. This has somewhat low value, but it is evenly fair. There is, a, there is not a lot of shading done in this painting as the colors are distinct and each one of them stands out on its own. The way the art element value is represented in this piece is having the darkest color being black used as an outline in the face as well as a shadow um, underneath the chin and the eyebrows and having the lightest color, um, which is the white and the light blue on this side of the face um, being used as a highlight to kind of contrast all the darker colors that were used in the painting. The elements that I'll be speaking about today is texture and shape. The texture shown on this canvas utilizes the term known as impasto's texture. This texture is a very thick layer of painting making the strokes being very visible to viewers. This technique also creates contrast in the shape of each face that is presented in the painting. From the contrast from the strokes, it shows each face and the uniqueness of what facial expressions made by each face, each faces. To me, this artwork represents a person's rough patches and endurances in life. Um, every person has a different side and perspective about life and what the meaning of life is. Thank you. Personal connection from this painting is the fact that each face shows a different story. One that is a dull face, a sad face, and a surprised face. And for me, with that connection shows my journey of life from being a child to a teen to a young adult. Each phase has shown a different aspect of my life, but that makes me who I am as one person. And in this painting, it has different faces, but it's all one person. One of them stands out on its own. Obviously, as mentioned in the video earlier, I'm a health science major and looking at this face for an extended amount of time actually made me consider the anatomy of a head. Obviously, heads don't look like this unless somebody got into a really bad accident, but I was drawn to it in the way that it was proportioned and segmented. Mental health is another important aspect to health science, and when I look at this painting, I see a million different expressions on her face. Looking at it in one way, her eyes are open and she's surprised and looking at it in another way, her left eye is closed and she's almost puncturing for a kiss. Depending on how you look at it and what parts you focus on, 
you'll get a different interpretation of it. Kind of like Rochester tests. I think it is very important that mental health too, as one situation can seem completely different for people based on how they're doing mentally, and they can react to it to perceive and completely differently than how someone else might. Um, I think this piece represents the many sides that one person can have. The colors that we used in the painting. Um, I really like this painting because to me, um, it represents a person having many different personalities or sides to themselves. And I think that everybody um, has different sides of themselves and putting all those sides together is what makes each person unique. And um, I think that's what the whole painting was created upon.